Skills Builder for Young Learners Movers 1 by Jenny Dooley Copyright Express Publishing All Rights Reserved Hello, this is Skills Builder for Young Learners, Movers 1, Unit 4, Part 1. Look at Part 1. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Nice photo! Hi Miss Sand. We went to the train station yesterday. Oh, why? To say goodbye to Uncle Fred. Is that the man with the moustache? Yes, that's him holding his ticket. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. 1. Oh dear, that man's bag is huge. You mean the man with the beard? Yes. Oh, that's not his bag. How do you know? <laughs> because that's my dad. His name's Peter, and he's helping my uncle close it. Two. So is that boy your brother? The one buying a book? Yes, that's Jim. Why has he got a box of chocolates under his arm? They're a present for my uncle. Three. Where's your mum? She's the woman with the curly blonde hair. Oh yes, I see her. What's her name? Julia. She's trying to take a picture of the family. Yes. I can see her camera. Four. Oh, I know the woman who's getting on the train. Really? The woman with the yellow scarf? Yes. Her name is Pat. She's my friend's granddaughter. She was the first person on the train. Five. Who's the woman in the pink hat? That's my grandmother. She's called Sue. Is she giving sandwiches to your uncle? That's right. She's the best cook. Oh, that's sweet. Now listen to part one again. One. Oh dear, that man's bag is huge. You mean the man with the beard? Yes. Oh, that's not his bag. How do you know? <laughs> because that's my dad. His name's Peter, and he's helping my uncle close it. Two. So is that boy your brother? The one buying a book? Yes, that's Jim. Why has he got a box of chocolates under his arm? They're a present for my uncle. Three. Where's your mum? She's the woman with the curly blonde hair. Oh yes, I see her. What's her name? Julia. She's trying to take a picture of the family. Yes, I can see her camera. Four. Oh, I know the woman who's getting on the train. Really? The woman with the yellow scarf? Yes. Her name is Pat. She's my friend's granddaughter. She was the first person on the train. Five. Who's the woman in the pink hat? That's my grandmother. She's called Sue. Is she giving sandwiches to your uncle? That's right. 
She's the best cook. Oh, that's sweet. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Dad, come on! The hockey game starts at three. Okay, okay. How about going by bike? By bike? All right. Good. Let's go then. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. So where's the game? It's at Rainbow Gardens. Sorry, what gardens? Rainbow. R A I N B O W. Oh, that's near where Grandpa lives. Two. Do you think Grandpa would like to come too? I don't think so. Your grandfather is old now. How old is he then? He's seventy-seven. Seventy-seven? Oh, wow! That is old. Three. You know we can go and see Grandpa after the hockey game. Great! Can we bring him a chocolate cake? We don't need to bring any presents, Matt. I know, but Grandpa really loves chocolate cake. Well, okay then. Four. Do you think Grandma is there too? Today is Friday, so no. Why? Where does she go on Fridays? To the village to see her sister. The village on the mountain. Cool. Five. I need to buy water before the game. Are you thirsty? Yes, I am. Can you get me a bottle of water too, please? Okay. I can't wait to see this game. Now listen to part two again. One. So, where's the game? It's at Rainbow Gardens. Sorry, what gardens? Rainbow. R A I N B O W. Oh, that's near where Grandpa lives. Two. Do you think Grandpa would like to come too? I don't think so. Your grandfather is old now. How old is he then? He's seventy-seven. Seventy-seven? Oh, wow! That is old. Three. You know we can go and see Grandpa after the hockey game. Great. Can we bring him a chocolate cake? We don't need to bring any presents, Matt. I know, but Grandpa really loves chocolate cake. Well, okay then. Four. Do you think Grandma is there too? Today is Friday, so no. Why? Where does she go on Fridays? To the village to see her sister. The village on the mountain. Cool. Five. I need to buy water before the game. Are you thirsty? Yes, I am. Can you get me a bottle of water too, please? Okay. I can't wait to see this game. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Paul is telling his grandmother about the places he went to on his holiday, and about the sports he did there.
Which sport did he do in each place? Are you enjoying your holidays, Paul? Yes, Grandma. I can do more sports now. Today I went to the river with Mum. I put on my new swimsuit and swam. It was sunny and the water was really nice. I think swimming is my favourite sport. Can you see the letter C? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. And last week I went to the lake. Really? Yes. I had a sailing lesson with Mr. Kite's grandson. He has a boat and he teaches children how to sail on Thursdays. It was exciting because it was very windy, but it was great fun. You know the field near us, right? Yes. My friend Peter came yesterday and we played football there. The grass was short and dry, so it was easy to play on. Dad put a net there for us. I scored three goals. Well done! Did I tell you about the sports centre, Grandma? I went there with my sister every day last week. Oh, that's nice. Did you play baseball? I know you like that. No, we play tennis. Baseball is Claire's favourite sport. She's the best player in the school. And she got a new bat for her birthday. Oh, yes. And at the weekend, Mum and I went to the forest. It was so big and quiet. Oh, did you have a picnic? No, we went running. We took bottles of water, a map and our phones. Mum put on her new running shoes and I wore the shorts you gave me. Well, I'm happy you liked them. Dad likes being outside too, so he took me to the mountain. Oh? Yes, we practiced climbing. We wore our climbing boots and helmets, and we were very careful. At the top, we stopped and took a photo. And on the way down, we saw a lot of small animals. Frogs, snails, lizards and rabbits. It was fantastic, Grandma. Oh, I can't wait to see your photos. Now listen to part three again. And last week I went to the lake. Really? Yes. I had a sailing lesson with Mr. Kite's grandson. He has a boat and he teaches children how to sail on Thursdays. It was exciting because it was very windy, but it was great fun. You know the field near us, right? Yes. My friend Peter came yesterday, and we played football there. The grass was short and dry, so it was easy to play on. Dad put a net there for us. I scored three goals. Well done! Did I tell you about the sports centre, Grandma? I went there with my sister every day last week. Oh, that's nice. Did you play baseball? I know you like that. No, we play tennis. Baseball is Claire's favourite sport. She's the best player in the school. And she got a new bat for her birthday. Oh, yes. And at the weekend, Mum and I went to the forest. It was so big and quiet. Oh, did you have a picnic? No, we went running. We took bottles of water, a map and our phones. Mum put on her new running shoes, and I wore the shorts you gave me. Well, I'm happy you liked them. Dad likes being outside too, so he took me to the mountain. Oh? Yes, we practiced climbing. We wore our climbing boots and helmets, and we were very careful. At the top, we stopped and took a photo. And on the way down, we saw a lot of small animals. Frogs, snails, lizards and rabbits. It was fantastic, Grandma. Oh, I can't wait to see your photos. That is the end of part three. Part four. 
Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. What is Matt buying? Hello. I'd like to buy something I can read my e-books on. Would you like to see a laptop? No. I'd like something smaller, but not a phone. OK. How about a tablet? You can add apps on it, surf the internet and send emails with it. Great. I'd like one, please. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. 1. When did Charlie go swimming? Why is your hair wet, Charlie? Hi, Dad. Classes stopped at 2 o'clock today, so I went swimming at 4. I thought you had hockey after school. No, we practised at 9 in the morning today. Oh, OK then. 2. Which animal did Daisy see at the beach? My holidays were great. I saw a lot of parrots on the island. Oh, I love parrots. They're brilliant. Where did you go? To the beach. And I saw a bat. It was like a mouse that could fly. Wow! 3. How many people were at Alice's party? Hi, Ben. Did you enjoy Alice's party? Yes, but it was very loud. Oh? How many people were there? More than 15? Yes, 25, and 12 of them were babies. Now I've got a headache. Oh, dear. 4. What can Mary do? Let's play a computer game, Mary. Sorry, I can't. I hurt my shoulder playing tennis. Oh, no. Yes. I can't move a mouse or use the keyboard. I can only watch videos on the computer. That's terrible. 5. Who is Vicky's grandmother? Look, Miss Forrest. I took a photo of my grandmother and her friends. Oh. Which one is she? That woman with the round face. And the glasses? No, the one next to her, with the blue eyes. Oh, yes, she's beautiful. Now listen to part four again. One. When did Charlie go swimming? Why is your hair wet, Charlie? Hi, Dad. Classes stopped at two o'clock today. So, I went swimming at four. I thought you had hockey after school. No, we practised at nine in the morning today. Oh, OK then. 2. Which animal did Daisy see at the beach? My holidays were great. I saw a lot of parrots on the island. Oh, I love parrots. They're brilliant. Where did you go? to the beach. And I saw a bat. It was like a mouse that could fly. Wow! 3. How many people were at Alice's party? Hi, Ben. Did you enjoy Alice's party? Yes, but it was very loud. Oh? How many people were there? More than 15? Yes, 25. And 12 of them were babies. Now I've got a headache. Oh, dear. 4. What can Mary do? Let's play a computer game, Mary. Sorry, I can't. I hurt my shoulder playing tennis. Oh, no. Yes. I can't move a mouse or use the keyboard. I can only watch videos on the computer. That's terrible. 5. Who is Vicky's grandmother? Look, Miss Forrest. I took a photo of my grandmother and her friends. Oh. Which one is she? That woman with the round face. 
And the glasses? No, the one next to her, with the blue eyes. Oh yes, she's beautiful. That is the end of part four. Part five. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Here's a picture of a kitchen. Would you like to colour it? Yes, the family are having breakfast. That's right. Can you colour the cheese in the girl's hand? Okay. Make it yellow. Can you see the yellow cheese? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. One. Now I'd like you to colour the dog, please. Oh, I see it. It's under the table. That's right. Colour it black. Okay. Oh look, it's got a toy in its mouth. Yes, it has. Two. Can I colour a plate now? All right. Colour the plate in front of the man. I'd like to make it blue. Okay, that's a good idea. Nice. Three. I love the big cup. It has a picture of a cat on it. Yes, it's nice. Now colour the flowers, please. Okay. The ones on the table? No, the ones by the window. Make them pink. Okay. Four. Can I do some writing? Okay. Write the word bread. Where? On the box under the cupboard. Yes, that's right. I think the family put their bread into it. I think you're right. Five. And now, colour the girl's dress. All right. Can I colour it red? That's a good colour, but I'd like you to make it green, please. OK, that's nice too. Very good. Thank you. Now listen to part five again. One. Now I'd like you to colour the dog, please. Oh, I see it. It's under the table. That's right. Colour it black. OK. Oh, look. It's got a toy in its mouth. Yes, it has. Two. Can I colour a plate now? All right. Colour the plate in front of the man. I'd like to make it blue. OK, that's a good idea. Nice. Three. I love the big cup. It has a picture of a cat on it. Yes, it's nice. Now colour the flowers, please. OK. The ones on the table? No, the ones by the window. Make them pink. OK. Four. 
Four. Can I do some writing? Okay. Write the word bread. Where? On the box under the cupboard. Yes, that's right. I think the family put their bread into it. I think you're right. Five. And now, colour the girl's dress. All right. Can I colour it red? That's a good colour, but I'd like you to make it green, please. Okay. That's nice too. Very good. Thank you. That is the end of Movers One. Unit 4